agreement between the Cardinals and Fowler is already in place. This is obviously a big sign for the Cardinals, whose biggest need coming into the offseason was finding a center filler. This is a team that wants to get better athletically and it certainly needed to improve its outfield defense and in the process was able to do both of those things with this acquisition. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The next time Dexter Fowler sees the Chicago Cubs, it will be on opening night in St. Louis as a member of the division rival Cardinals. After helping lead the Cubs to the 2016 World Series title, the free agent outfielder reportedly agreed to a multi-year deal to join the Redbirds, believed to be in the range of five seasons pending a physical. The 30-year-old put together perhaps his finest big league campaign, posting an 840 OPS in 125 games and earning his first career All-Star Game selection. Fowler becomes the third prominent player to switch sides in the Cubs-Cardinals rivalry in the last two seasons, along with current Cubs John Lackey and Jason Hayward. But after saying farewell to Fowler, the Cubs say Konnichiwa to Koji. After trading for Wade Davis on Wednesday, the world champs have reportedly come to terms with free agent Koji Uehara on a one-year contract for approximately $4.5 million. The native of Japan will turn 42 the day after the Cubs 2017 season opener and had spent the last four seasons with the Red Sox. The high point of his tenure in Boston came in 2013 when he was named closer midseason and helped lead the Red Sox to the World Series title. In eight major league seasons, Uihara has tallied a stellar 2.53 ERA. On the heels of Aroldis Chapman's historic five-year deal to rejoin the Yankees, Teams continue to jockey for position in their efforts to sign Kenley Jansen. MLB.com has confirmed that the Marlins have made a formal five-year contract offered to Jansen in the neighborhood of $80 million. Jansen's 2016 campaign was the finest of his six full big league seasons, recording 47 saves for the Dodgers with a 1.83 ERA and 13.6 Ks per nine along with his first career All-Star Game selection. I think Jansen ends up, you know, in Miami. I think when an owner comes out and says, we're going to add this kind of guy, they're going to go to whatever length they can to make sure that he goes there. The Rule 5 draft took place on Thursday afternoon, and the San Diego Padres made the event a productive one. Through a series of their own selections, plus a pair of trades, the Padres secured the top three players taken in the major league phase of the draft. Right-hander Miguel Diaz, catcher Luis Torrance, and shortstop Ellen Cordoba are now all property of the Padres. For complete results from the 2016 Rule 5 draft, as well as the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.